patients I find are most afraid of the fact that we stop their heart. They feel that this represents that they are dead. They are not dead, their heart is just stopped. We will restart it at the end of the operation. They also have the misconception that we take their heart out of their body and work on it on the side table. That is not true. Their heart stays in their body at all times. I'm a physician assistant. Uh, I work in cardiac surgery and because I am subspecialized, I work specifically with cardiac surgeons. I work in the operating room as well as in an ICU and uh, in an office taking care of patients. And I assist him in the operating room by, uh, I harvest the veins from the legs and then help him with the bypasses or valve surgery, whatever we happen to be doing with the patient's heart. What drew me to being a uh, physician assistant, especially in surgery, was my need to fix things. When I was a nurse, I worked with cardiac patients and realized that that's where I wanted to be. And I also I have a knack for it, and I enjoy taking care of these patients, and I can't imagine doing anything else. The medical field is wide open for anything that you would want to do, from being a physician assistant to a nurse to lab work to, you know, working in in research, just with physician assistant alone, there are so many specialties, subspecialties, and non-specialties that you can do that it's wide and varied. You can do anything um, any practice a, a physician can do. I like being able to operate because I can get my hands in there and I can actually do something about the problem. But I also like taking care of patients and I wouldn't give it up for the world. One, it makes me use my brain. I'm not just a mechanic, as it were. but. I also get to interact with these people and there's nothing more rewarding than to take somebody who is sick or even, you know, doesn't feel well or something and to relieve their discomfort. And they're usually very, very appreciative, but it's not even the appreciation that, that makes you feel so good. It's just the fact that you can do this and you can, God gave you these abilities. The amount of time spent with patients varies by career. For example, Terry is a physician assistant, so she spends time with patients before, during, and after surgery. She likes the face time because the patients are not afraid to talk to her and ask questions. While it may seem odd, some healthcare jobs have little or no patient interaction. So when choosing your career, think about how much or how little time you want to spend in direct contact with patients. It may influence what you do.